Ocean City, written by Kevin Mongelli. Fade in. Interior, psychologist office, day. Dr. Periculum, woman in her 40s, heavy makeup, excessive jewelry, is a psychologist conducting a session with Brandon and Mia, late 20s, both dressed professionally. There is tension in the room. I sit on the sofa, have a beer, and watch some TV or play Xbox. Periculum takes notes. Mia, and you? I get home later than him. If he hasn't already eaten, I make dinner. Then I sit and read in the bedroom until I fall asleep. Do you often eat together? They look at each other awkwardly. Depends what he's watching. Mm Mm-hmm. She takes more notes and then pauses to think. Will either of you please describe a typical evening when Addison was still alive? Mia begins to weep. Brandon puts his hand on her shoulder and shakes his head. This is bullshit. He gets closer to comfort Mia. Periculum watches closely. Good. I'm glad you're trying to comfort her. A sense of protection is important. He glares at her. She shrugs it off. It's been three months, and you both seem to have fallen into a negative pattern. Addison is gone, and it's time to begin anew. Accept life without her. Brandon scoffs. Wow. Didn't realize it was that easy. I would like to propose something. Mia wipes her eyes. Please. We really need help. Take a trip. Get away. Take some time to enjoy each other again. Where should we go? Brandon shrugs. I have a suggestion, but you might feel the desire to resist. The beach house. What? Mia begins to weep again. Please, just listen. In order to move forward, it would be best to address the source of pain head on. You're simply not making any progress. Wow. We're leaving. He helps Mia stand up and guides her out the door. Think about it. I hope to see you after your trip. Brandon shakes his head without looking at her and closes the door behind him. Periculum takes off her glasses and rubs her eyes. She stands up and walks to the window looking out thoughtfully. Sits down at her desk, takes a deep breath, opens a drawer and pulls out a framed photo. Cradles it to her chest and sits back. Interior, home foyer, evening. Brandon enters through the front door. He holds the door and Mia enters. She waits for him to close the door. Their eyes meet for a moment, then he leaves the room. Sound of refrigerator door opening, then hiss of beer bottle opening. Mia sighs and heads upstairs. Super. One week later. Interior, home study, night. Brandon is at a desk carefully pulling out coins encased in clear plastic from a case and observing each one from multiple angles. Mia enters the room and observes him for a moment. Is that... that buffalo nickel? Startled because he didn't know she was standing there, he lowers his head, then takes a deep breath. No, it's actually a Kennedy half dollar. It's quite valuable. She sits down next to him. What makes it so valuable? He again looks at it from multiple angles. Then he points to a section of it and brings it close to her so she can see. She gazes in his eyes as he looks closer. He averts his eyes. I know you're not really interested. She then puts her hand on his knee. Bran? He takes a hesitant breath while continuing to observe the coin. Mm Mm-hmm. Can we talk about this? Please, no. She takes a deep breath and pulls up a stool to sit next to him. I just want things back to how they used to be. He immediately glares at her. No, of course we would give anything to have our little A back. I I mean, how we used to be. He goes back to observing his coin. No. Okay, let me ask it this way. What can we do to move beyond this? We wake up every morning and get on this roller coaster. All day has its ups and downs, but there's always that deep dive into dread. And it pulls right back into where we started. Maybe... No. She stands up. Rubs his shoulder. Well, here it is. On Saturday morning, I'm packing up the truck and we'll be waiting. We'll wait for you all morning if I have to. She kisses him on the cheek. Please don't make me do this alone. She leaves the room. Tears in his eyes, he puts his head down on the desk. Addie. Fade out. <laughs>